special thanks to EK Waterblocks. Just just watch their entire video. It'll blow your mind, all the new stuff that's coming out. Also, thanks to Azrock, their new motherboards. They're, you know what? They do more than just that. They've got their all-in-ones and everything else, so be sure to watch that entire video. And thanks to Innovex. They've sponsored us to come and check out all the cool, innovative stuff, so be sure to watch all that coverage. The links are in the top of the description. You got track me and don't track me, which is nice if you wanted to like turn yeah. it off for a little while. Yeah. You're going over to your mistress's house. We always design our product so that the customer himself decides who can have access to the data. Yeah. It's IT technology. Now, what's happening is this is pretending to be your engine. It's just a Raspberry Pi doing a simulation, but you're, you know, it's going to say, hey, you're driving around town. Now, you can pick what, um, I guess, what granular thing you want to analyze in real time, and it uploads to the cloud here. So you can say, track me, don't track me, and you can also select who you want to share this data with, so it's completely voluntary. You can share it with your mechanic, you can share it with the company uh, so that they can you know, make their algorithm better. So you have full control over who you share it with and your privacy is protected, which is really nice. So as you can see here, it's showing the error codes. A lot of times your car will generate error codes and the error codes are actually an error themselves. So this program can go and reset those so you don't have to go and waste your time going to the mechanic. But one thing that's cool about these error codes is your, your mechanic can look at this. Let's say you're out of town or something. They can look at this and they can also look at the analytics that come from you know, your engine and, and the RPM data and, and uh, you know, your fuel usage and that sort of thing. And he can say like, oh, you guys are burning oil or your RPM looks a little off. Maybe you've got a spark plug that's bad. And he can give you recommendation and even refer you to a local mechanic while you're traveling. So a lot of cool things can be done with this and it'll plug into any car since 2001 because they are all all, they all have to have the plug so you can get the error codes. All right, so hopefully this will be available next year before Christmas, but this could theoretically become the new way you diagnose and uh, get your car repaired. Yeah. So that's a really cool. And also, uh, they could share this data for a number of different things. Since there's GPS tracking on here, if you elect to share it, who knows? There's a lot of different applications that go even beyond just car repair. Yeah, so up. driving habits, it's insurance. Up. One of the things that's really cool about this is any car since 2001 is now suddenly like a more, you know, more like a smart car. It's connected to the internet. Um, and cities can use the analytics from this to change the traffic light patterns, to ease congestion, communicate with other vehicles that are on this. There's a lot of different applications and I'm really curious to see where this goes when it comes out. You know, the plan is to stop clogging up the environment with a bunch of garbage plastic, and the plan tech is to do that with these three toppings, toppings, toppings. ingredients, yes, these waste, toppings. these yeah. waste products from yeah. uh, from different farms and that sort of thing. Yeah. So Justin, if you will, they do coffee grounds, bamboo, and what was the other one? Sugar cane. cane. Why do we always forget one? Every time. So the sugar cane starts off like this, and then they make it into pellets right here, and the pellets can then be used to, I guess, make into the different shapes and stuff, just like yeah. plastic. So you got mm -hmm. the spoons. You um, got all kinds of things like this, coffee containers. You see that boba straw right there? Yeah. You see that boba straw? For some hardcore bobaing. Yeah. Uh, but they can do even things like making shoes. Shoes are not 100% biodegradable, nope. but um, you know, it's probably it. better than what you get with just a regular old yeah. rubber plastic shoe and all that. Yeah, Nike. Yeah. This is going to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, currently. Currently. Yeah. But you know, if we all just move toward this and maybe the government starts subsiding this sort of thing instead of subsiding, I don't know, corn and garbage, yeah. this will be great.